Hello children, let us learn more about measurement. As we saw in the story, when Goluram measures the pajama, it was three arm length long. But the customer who was tall and had long arms, when he measured it, his three arm length was longer than Goluram. And you know what happened after that. <laughs> So one arm length is one cubit. But it is not the right way to measure length because shorter people has shorter arm. When they measure one cubit will be shorter and for taller people it will be longer. Many people measure things with hand like this. The distance between the tip of thumb and small finger is one hand span. But shorter people has shorter hand span and taller people has larger hand span. Say a rope is 10 hand span long if a shorter person or a child measures it. But it may turn out to be 7 hand span long if an adult or taller person measures it. If we measure it with a ruler, the length would be same no matter who measures it. Scale is used to measure length in centimeters and inches. The size measured by one centimeter is always same. For example, this rope is 90 centimeter long, no matter who measures it. Same way, there are fixed units to measure how heavy an object is. Rajan buys same amount of rice every month. This month the bag seems lighter than usual. So. Has he been deceived? Can we find out how much rice is less? The unit of weight is kilogram. We see vendors using metal weight to measure weight of other objects. There are metal weights of 1 kg, 2 kg, 5 kg, 10 kg, etc. You can easily lift 1 kg like 1 kg potato or onion. 1 kg kg potato is as heavy as this 1 kg metal weight. So if your weight is 33 kg, your weight is 3 10 kg weight plus 1 2 kg weight plus 1 1 kg weight that is equal to total 33 kg. So Rajan bought 45 kg rice but when he measured it he found that its weight is equal to weight of 4 10 kgs plus 1 2 kg weight that is equal to total of 42 kg. So he was given 3 kg less rice by the shopkeeper which is not good. Rhino and Hippo both looks very heavy. We can tell who is heavier after measuring their weight in kgs. Rhino is heavier than Hippo. Lion and tiger both look big and ferocious, but tiger is heavier than lion. All most of the tigers weigh more than 200 kg, but lion's weight can be up to 190 kg. So tiger is heavier. Now when it comes to milk, water, etc., we use glass, cup, etc. to measure it. Like Aman's mom had one teapot of tea and she served six full cups of tea. So the teapot can hold six cups of tea. And if the cups are smaller, she could serve more guests. Aman is taking bath. The bucket is filled with water. He could take out full mug of water 14 times. So a bucket can hold 14 mugs of water. If the mug is smaller, he may be able to take out more than 14 mugs of water. Now, a bowl can hold more milk than glass because it is wider. So, if you pour one glass of milk in a bowl, it would look so little in the bowl. So, we need an unit to measure how much pots container can hold. The unit is liter. You may have seen one liter of milk packet. This measuring cup can hold 1 liter liquid. So there are units to measure length, weight, volume. 
This way, no matter who measures it, the outcome will remain the same.